What's up guys, Peaches HD here, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this stuff from your Photoshop into your Cinema 4D. For example, just watch and learn. Okay, uh, make a new file, and, you know, you know, however you like, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's go in one of, your, one of my files, and I'm just going to pick a random picture, or like a logo, uh, I'm just going to do a logo. And, not there, let's see, where's my logos? Um... Say we had dare, I don't want to do dare. Let's do EA. Alright, drag the EA into here. Click check. Rasterize it. Hold control. Click this. The path. Click this little button down here. Go up to here. File. Edit. Uh, I mean, file. Export. Pass it to Illustrator. Hit path to work path. Hit this. Uh, let's put EA. I don't know why that. Uh, you can, you don't need this anymore, so just exit out of that. This is going to be a really quick tutorial, guys. I just want to get this over with. Um, and also, I might be starting a new series uh, where I make a tutorial every day from now to the end of spring break, um, depending on how my schedule goes. So what we want to do now is hit open. I want to go to desktop. I want to scroll down here and look for the, it, uh, it'll, say, it'll say Adobe Illustrator file uh, or AI. So just click that, hit open. Put this to 1, if it's 10, it usually won't, it just say 1, so it just say OK. And look at that, you have it in Cinema 4D. Now, oh, guys, I'm going to click the whole thing so I can drag it all. Um, what, there's four paths to this, OK? So what you're going to do is you're going to need to make four extrude nerves. And just drag all the paths to each one so it makes it 3D. Now you have that little 3DM. You don't need this anymore. But, uh, let's put these all in a group. So I'm just going to select them all. Alright, now they're in a group. Um, you can just mess around. Let me go to this and caps object. And I think I can make it deeper. Uh, nope. Control Z, don't do that. I just messed up and I really don't like when that happens. Okay, I'm just going to keep it like this, but make sure you guys, when you do drag it, just select them all and drag. What I'm going to do is go through here, and I'm going to make the depth wide. Ooh, 150 looks really good. 150, so just go down here. 150. 150. 150. It may not look good on the TM, but eh, who cares. Alright, alright, yeah, I know. Alright, okay. um... That's basically, I mean, look, you got your EA sign. Uh, you don't really see the TM, so I'm just going to delete that. EA. So that looks pretty good. Uh, I don't know if I want to keep going with this, but I might as well. I'm just going to put a color on it, and you know, let's see what it looks like at rendered. And we can put a color on it just to mess around. Take off specular, reflection, environment. Take off reflection real quick. Go to color. I like this color a lot, so I'm just use this one. Take reflection around here, get that nice Fresnel right here, and drag it on, mate. Drag it on, mate. Go so here, output. Uh, you don't want to make it too big, so do that. That takes up a lot of stuff when you're editing in Photoshop. It takes up a lot of the memory you can't use. Not memory, but you know what I mean. Uh, zero to frame, or whatever. Save, uh, desktop, EA. EA, save, TF, TIF to PNG, shit, PNG, um, I could do that, alpha channel makes it transparent, and in fact you just want to put NBA occlusion, it just takes a little bit longer to re uh, render, but it's fine, and what your uh, thing is, is this 3D EA, which is was very simple to make, and that's it, guys. Peach was HD. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, favorite, whatever you like. Uh, that's it, guys. Peace.